Hey guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we are going to discuss the glute biased leg press. Now, within this movement, we have taught it in a different fashion in the past, and now as we continue our education, we have found that there's a better way of going about it. So, previously within this, we would be assessing the active range of motion of the client being Sue here. Now, we're still going to assess the range of motion, but in a different fashion. Previously, we would have brought the knee up, gone into a slight degree of external rotation, and got a greater degree of range of motion. Now, what in one education has done within their research has found that in this position, they found that there's a greater degree of adductor activation than truly the glute max. And within this movement, we're wanting to bias the glute max. So within their research, they found that bringing this knee back into alignment with the hip is biasing the glute max and deprioritizing, if you will, the adductor. Now, is the adductor still working? Absolutely. But we want the greater degree of the tension placed on the glute max. So I'll have Sue go ahead and get into the leg press. Now, common problems or uh, mistakes that we see within this movement specifically are going to start with the hand positioning. So individuals, instead of pulling themselves into the seat, will place their hands up on the bench, uh, which is going to create a not so stable position, as well as as they lift off the leg press, allow for their uh, pelvis to rotate. So they're trying to, their, their glutes are coming off of the bench which again is just going to be a poor stable position as well as putting their lower back in a compromised position. Like that. One common mistake that we also see within this movement is individuals wanting to only apply force through the heel of their foot and allowing for the front of their foot to come off of the platform. That is not what we want to do here as we want to apply force through the entire sole of the foot. So we want to generate through the midsole and, and really allow for those feet to stay planted on the platform. Go ahead and rack it. So, now, to do this properly, we want to find a, a heightened position for the feet. It does not have to be on the top of the platform. You want to find a position where you can create quality tension in the glute max. You want the knee and the hip to be in alignment. Now, within this movement, you're starting by initiating with the glutes. So you're going to find great tension in the glutes as you lift this plate off. Now, from here, Sue is going to pull herself very hard into the seat pin those glutes down to the, the seat itself. She is going to contract the abdomen to create a stable environment. And from there, she's going to maintain tension on the glutes as she goes into the eccentric portion. And she's going to initiate by driving those glutes into the seat itself. And she's going to be targeting the glutes in the mid to lengthened position. Perfect. So this is going to be a great movement to, to train the glutes uh, in that mid to lengthened range.